Welcome back to my channel guys and today we are going to be talking about why you should complete the hell event if you can and night guards. So okay we're gonna actually start with night guards because this is a really important announcement. If you guys don't know already, night guards is created by Burn. And Burn, as you guys know, is a very popular person on my channel. So what is Night Guards? Night Guards is a very popular and social group, as you can see over here. And they are technically classified as a Starry Corridor Association. So that doesn't mean that you are going to join the association they have on Love Nikki because that's not what they have. It's basically just like a extracurricular type of group that you join to make friends and just basically bond over Starry Corridor posts and whatnot. So they're currently looking for a new talented member and if you would like to apply, their applications are open May 4th. As you can see here, the very talented Joe Frey made this and then all the information is on the highlights here. And you know what, why not? Let's just look at our leaders. So here's Byrne and here's Joe Frey. And then here are their admins, which is Megan. If it's Megan, I'm so sorry. Virus, Mika, and Aurora. So for anybody who's interested, remember May 4th, that's when it's open. You can't just submit it now because we're not gonna look at it. You have to do it at May 4th. So you submit your applications on Instagram to their Instagram DMs. Once you get the ready to go thing and you pass their first stage of submissions and you can join the Discord group where applications will take place. And this is where I will come in. I will come in along with Sin Kitty and Winterwise to be special judges and we'll be judging the entire process afterwards. I may or may not be making a video on it. We'll see how I feel on that day. But yeah, hopefully we will have a lot of people joining so that it will be a lot of fun. Before we dive into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe because it will help my channel a lot and I'll appreciate you guys a lot for doing so. Okay, so why should you complete the mermaid event? Again, only if you can and only if you do happen to like the suits. It is predicted that a stamina event is going to come. You can look at that video that I made recently. And the reason why you should start farming for it, this is like a really good way to farm for it because think about it. Not only are you going to get suits over here, you're gonna get backgrounds coming with the Crimson Creek suit and the mermaid one. And you're also going to get a lot of stamina and you're going to get a lot of coins back. So that's something that's really great. And coins are going to be super important, especially if you're on chapter 19 because it requires you to build the assassin's outfit. And this outfit is so expensive. So yeah, that's why I started to do it. And I'm going to show you each one of the outfits to help you guys make an informed decision of whether you actually want to complete it or not. I'm actually going to go ahead and finish the mermaid outfit. I honestly really like the hair and I like the makeup. and. I guess like the dress is whatever to me because I already have a real mermaid tail from the WFSM which I can show you guys afterwards as well in case you wanted to uh, compare the both of them but I guess we're gonna go explore and just waste all my diamonds. I was honestly really upset because I was just one diamond away from 6,666 but we're just gonna grow up and forget about that. <laughs> okay! Ugh. This is actually sad. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to pause over here and go back to Instagram. I just wanted to put this out there. This is coming soon. So again, it's gonna cost from anywhere from a thousand diamonds to something more or less. It's just around the ballpark over there, depending on your luck. But yeah, I think I might even start doing this because I ran out of things to do in the... Uh, what is this called again? I haven't... Oh, Dreamweaver. <laughs> Don't kill me. I ran out of things to do in the Dreamweaver already and I actually really, really, really love the evolved form of whatever this is. Okay, so let's continue with this. Uh, it hurts. I'm not even remotely close. At least I'm getting a lot of gold from this. And because I don't want to overshoot, I'm just going to go ahead and do... Um, how many more tries? Seven more tries right now? Yeah, I'm just gonna do seven more tries right now. Like, I have to tell you, like, it's really hurting my heart right now to just see it drop. But alas, this is the most worth it way to get stamina in case, like, that we have a lot of stamina events coming up and then you get a lot of suits and these are hello event suits that are the most worth it anyway. So that's why I'm doing this. I actually do like the suits, so don't get me wrong over there. It's just that I didn't plan to get it right now because I didn't want to spend my diamonds, but because it makes sense 
due to the stamina that we get. It, it just makes sense. By the way, like just a disclaimer, don't go doing this expecting that there's going to be a second stamina event. It's just predicted because uh, Shadow Fiend doesn't actually look like a event suit. We just think that there's going to be a actual real stamina event. So that's why I decided to get stamina in the first place. But if it doesn't come, don't come at me, please. Like I can't read the future. I'm just doing this based on my best knowledge. But yeah, I really love this hair. This is one of my favorite hairs of Love Nikki. And you get a background. I'm pretty sure this one's animated. Sorry, I have sushi in my mouth right now because I forgot to eat lunch. You also get like 60 diamonds back, so uh, that's not that bad. Mm, 100 diamonds. So let's start off with the mini suits that we have. Oops, let me put on the actual suit. Shiba and Croak is one of the suits that is um, given to us from this event. And there's a lot of intricate details to this outfit if you actually pay attention. So for example, there are little froggies on her headband and then her hair color is actually two tones. So at the very bottom, of it. It's more of a teal that matches her outfit. You also see that there are two frogs. One is in the middle of her stomach and the other one is in her coat jacket as a pocket. If you want to see our little cutie pie Shiva over here, he's wearing a frog raincoat and then he's like a typical Shiva because he doesn't want to go wherever the owner is trying to take them. If you look on top of his head, you see that there is an adorable little little frog. Do you see the Shiba keychain on her umbrella? And also at the top of her umbrella is a crown. So these are the two makeups from this event. And then if we go down over here, I guess um, any blue tone makeup would look good with her besides that one I just showed. And then we can have any green tone that kind of works, but I think a more big eye type of uh, makeup would fit her more because she looks more childish compared to the other Nikki's. So this one I think works perfectly with her, especially with the whole aesthetic over here, plus it's green. I can show her how she looks like with different hair colors. And I think that it really fits no matter what type of hair color I put. Even Spring Glory looks amazing on her. And as you can see here, there's actually no unposed version. It comes with the pose. So I can take off the jacket and here is how she looks with it. This one is the little leglet item. And then here is the shoes. She doesn't come with socks. The Shiba and Croak is over here. And this is her headband. So I can take away her umbrella so that you can see the headband better. And yeah, so this is how she looks like and I think that this is honestly a 10 out of 10 mini suit to get because it's very creative and the color scheme is something we haven't really seen before. And here she is. I think that there's also a lot of intricate details regarding the suit coming from the hair itself because she doesn't have any hair accessories. It's just part of the hair, which I find is really pretty. And then here is the dress. I think that the dress is on the prettier side as well because if you look at the bottom over here, this is part of the dress. So the fact that her dress becomes water is a, such a neat concept. And then her shoes are kind of whatever, same with her necklace and her bracelets I actually really like. So let's go ahead and give her some makeup and see how she looks like. These two again are the makeups from the uh, event and I think that blue eye makeup suit her the best. So this is from the Stars in Wish bottle. I guess black makeup would work as well. And yeah, so he, this is how she looks. I'm just gonna go, I think I'm gonna go with this one. And then we're just gonna go up and see how she looks with different hairstyles. So as you can see here, the entire dynamic of the suit changed simply just by putting Alyssa as the hair. And I love this hair so darn much. So I'm really happy that I ended up getting it. Otherwise, I think that black hair would suit her the most and maybe even white hair if you wanted to give it a try. Yeah, white hair is fine. White, blue, black hair would be great. And here she is with different types of blue hair. And then what else? This is another type of blue hair that she has. And I think I have like a third one that I can't remember where it is. But I guess white hair is here if you wanted to check it out. So I think we can move on to the third node, which we will 100% get Winged Journey on. And this is honestly one of my favorite suits. Um, I'm going to go with the posed version first. And here you can see that... The arms are poses, so this is the dress and I love it so much. The hair is also really fun to work with. The makeup, not so much, but the wings are one of my favorite wings of all time. Like, it literally works with everything and I like it a lot more than the angel wings that you can get from the pavilion. So I realize that there's like no posed and unposed version, it's just literally like this, I forgot. But yeah, we can go to the background and look at the background that is associated with this, which is Cloud Dream. I really, really love her, but let's go look at different makeups on her again. So I think that blue makeup is the easiest to work with. 
We're going to leave with this and then we can try out different types of hairstyles with her so that you can catch a feel of how much you'd end up liking her. Um, I think that blonde hair and white hair and maybe even pink hair would work well. Same with blue, blue would be fine as well. Otherwise, it's just easier to work with these types of hair colors because it just matches the theme more. But yeah, this is honestly one of my favorite outfits and I was so stoked when I got it on the third one. I thought that Love Nikki was so generous to put this on the third node. And I think that it's pretty affordable too because it's only 2,490 diamonds this time to afford all three of the outfits that I just mentioned. So let's move along to Crimson Creek which is something I recently got. And her background as you can see is actually animated. You can look over here on the top corner, it's animated over there and the stars are also animated. I love her hair and her makeup. Her shoes look like little lady parts, which is really weird, but essentially the fishes and the uh, water around her, that's something I really like. And let's just take off everything side by side. This is how she looks with or without the little flaps over here. She actually looks a lot better than the goldfish duo that we had last time for the ranking event because I literally think she looks like an actual goldfish, especially with these ears. So if you're down to do something Starry Corridor related, these ears are great for that. Same with the hair, um, we can go ahead and just change up the makeup. I think any makeup would really work with her. It doesn't necessarily have to be blue eyes this time because she has a lot of different types of colors with her. So even this red kind of works. Green, eh, it's whatever. Yellow would work too. Blue, fine, that's great. This is how she looks like with more makeups and there's nothing else that I can really put on her for you guys to see. So we can move along to the last one which is the mermaid node. So this is the pose which I really really like because it's only like the bracelet item or whatever item it is. You don't have to work around the entire outfit because it's not the entire outfit that's the pose. So that's one thing I appreciate a lot. Here are the bubbles that I also really like. Necklace, the little back part, and her hair. So her hair, again, is one of my favorite aspects of this outfit. She works with a lot of things, especially this one. And this one we got from the snow trail event, no, snow trace event. I'm glad I have a lot of blue makeups at the top so I can quickly scroll through them and let you guys see. But yeah, again, look how beautiful all these makeups look on her. So I'll keep it with this one. And then you can see her with different hair. I'm sure you guys wanted to see her, especially with the blue hair that we got from the snow event and maybe even the star one. So this is the star and wish bottle and then here she is with the blue hair and without the blue hair. And again, I'm sure you guys are dying to see her with an actual mermaid bottom. So let's go ahead and find that. Ta-da! This is how she looks. So I think the only problem with this is that the blues don't really technically match but you can obviously hide it if you really wanted to on, in the starry corridor but this is how she looks with and without the mermaid tail. So what do you guys think? Are you guys going to complete this outfit? Do you think you guys are uh, interested in it? I was trying to find, sorry I, I distracted myself, I was just trying to find a blue top or like a bikini that I could wear but I just realized a lot of these clothes don't even work with the tail in the first place so it's just really hard to work around. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that you're going to complete it? Do you think you guys are going to prepare for a potential stamina event that might be coming up? Let me know in the comments below. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested, if you like my content. And remember, the applications for Night Guards is opening soon. So keep posted. Remember to, uh, remember to also go subscribe to them. And huh, does this work? Nah, it doesn't. You can try this one. But remember to go follow them on their Instagram as well. I'll keep all the links in the description below. And if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comments. Catch you guys later.